this interview with me, and congratulations on having the film here at TIFF. How does it feel to be back after three long years? Oh my God, it's amazing, it's amazing. I'm, ex I'm so excited, I'm so excited. When you heard that this film that we're gonna talk about got chosen for TIFF during, let's see, the roughest time that we've ever had, tough time for filmmakers to make films, and you guys made something so stellar that it was part of this, it must've been a great film. Yeah, I mean, we, we were crying, we were jumping, we were screaming. Um, you know, we were supposed to make this film in 2020, and of course we got delayed by a year, and at the time that felt so devastating, but now we're actually just really thrilled that it just all worked out, shot it in 2021, and now we get to show it, you know, at TIFF in person, full first festival that's actually like live and in person, so it's really exciting. Let's yeah. talk about it. What is this film called and what is it about? It's uh, called Rosie, and it's about a little indigenous orphan girl who's forced to live with her reluctant francophone dildo-selling auntie and her two gender-bending best friends in 80s Montreal, and it has a kick-ass soundtrack of the 80s. <laughs> Who came up with the 80s sound? Like, we're, we're like... Yes. Okay. Yes, queen! Okay, so, what's, so where did you get the songs and music? Like, how did this... Because it sounds like we're talking about another uh, important character in here, yeah. and that's the music. Yeah, it totally is. It's... it's uh, uh, like the music is so, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's, it plays the theme, right? It's like, you know, when you hear music, when you hear songs and you're like having a hard day and something comes up that you remember and all of a sudden you're boom, you're back there. So that's what these, these songs are going to do. You like that? Boom. <laughs> where did the story come from? Like, where did you hear this or was this a true story? Where did the story come from? Uh, I have to pass that one to Gail because okay. Gail I'm wrote so, it. Yeah. yeah, 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 I wrote it. Um, so uh, it started out as a short. I wrote Rosie the Short in 2017. It premiered at the Imaginative Film Festival. And then uh, Imaginative and Harold Greenberg Fund said, hey, we love, we love it. Um, workshop it into a feature film, which I did. And uh, a year later... Um, yeah, it, it was done. We were supposed to shoot it. But how it originated is, um, I grew up in northern Saskatchewan. In, in, uh, I went to university in the 80s. And it's the first time I was ever exposed to uh, queer culture. I had never, and I had never had that experience before. So, um, and I knew, like, I knew, I, like, growing up, like, in the north, there's no, I, I, did, I wasn't exposed to all that stuff. So going to the city university, all of a sudden, I go, hmm. I kind of like that girl. What's this? What? What am I feeling? Right? I had no idea. Like really, and so um, I went to a gay bar, and all of a sudden, when I opened those doors, my mind exploded. My whole world exploded, <laughs> and I go, oh, "Oh my God! This is what I've been feeling all these years. I had no idea." And so, um, like, just that freedom and that. That, that joy is what I wanted to um, share and express in Rosie. And that's why I used a little six-year-old girl to show the pure love and the pure joy and the non-judgment uh, uh, when she is surrounded with Flo and Mo and, and Fred. And, she, she, and the, the little girl, Karis, never once questioned why do these men wear dresses? Why? Nothing. It's because, like, it's, it's just purity, right? And it's just love. That's yeah, it. that's yeah. it. Talk about your character and how did it feel playing this character? I love this character. Um, I think the other important thing uh, to mention is that the film is totally bilingual. So it's French and English. Uh, I'm originally Quebecois, so I get to speak both my languages. Um, and it's part of Gail's language, Cree Michif, the French, so she wanted to honor that. Um, yeah, my character is kind of, as in the, the words of the six-year-old, uh, Fred swears a lot and she's mad all the time, <laughs> which is true. Um, I kind of love her anger. She has a lot of reasons to be angry, good reasons. And she's fighting the system, and um, it was really liberating to be able to play that. But at the same time, you know, had to find the quiet moments, the moments uh, where she is just kind of beaten down and then has to rise back up because, of course, you don't want to just be yelling and mad all the time, you know. Um, there are definitely nuances, but she's, she's pretty kick ass, yeah. if I can well, say that. You can say that. <laughs> what are you hoping fans are going to get from this film? Um, to, uh, I hope that um, it spreads love. I hope it. It, it spreads um, like just caring for each other and also the um, like people find chosen families you know just because uh, your family might, might not accept you um, for whatever reason find 
your chosen family and that's just as important if not more so in life and yeah it's about hope and this wouldn't be fair if I didn't ask you to say, ask the same question. What do you hope fans get from this film, film but in French? En français. Ben, j'espère que les gens vont être euh, curieux d'apprendre plus par rapport euh, au 60s scoop, par rapport euh, à des enjeux autochtones. Euh, puis j'espère aussi ouais, que ça va juste... Euh, Ça va donner de l'amour, l'espoir après un temps vraiment difficile récemment dans les dernières années. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Merci. Yeah, I, I heard, I heard the, the 60s scoop and so basically it's um, uh, also about that, like underlying um, um, the character. She, she doesn't know who she is. The little six-year-old indigenous girl doesn't know who she is because her mom was part of the 60s scoop. And so it's also... Um, um, honoring those that were stolen and, and doing the best that they can in life. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much.